Hello there and welcome to this video which is going to focus on how you can calculate the number of protons, neutrons and electrons for an ion. Okay, so let's recap. So we've got lithium here as an example. We know the bottom number, the atomic number, is the number of protons and electrons, which is 3. And then we have 7 minus 3, which gives me 4 neutrons. But what happens when we get an ion, when it's gained or lost electrons? Well, first things first, the protons and the neutrons, the way you calculate those does not change. You still have 4 neutrons and 3 protons. So your first step to work out the electrons of your ion then is work out the actual number of electrons that you're going to need to lose or gain. And to do that, the best thing to do is to draw out the electronic configuration. So if we were to draw lithium, we know we've got two electrons in the first, one electron in the second, making it up to three. And it wants to lose one electron to get that full outer shell. And your next step is to either subtract or add that number onto your total number of electrons, depending on whether it's lost or gained. So for example, lithium had three, you've taken one away, therefore your number of electrons remaining is two which results in, for a lithium ion, of having three protons, four neutrons, and two electrons. Remembering that's for the ion, not for the atom. So if we were to have a look at another example, in this case I'm going to go with sulfur. We have got 32 as the atomic mass and 16 as the atomic number, which means we've got 16 protons and 32 take away 16 is 16 neutrons. But what about the electrons? So again, do the same steps. Draw out the electronic configuration. We've got 16 electrons, so two in the first shell. 8 go into the second shell, leaving us with 6 remaining to go into the outer shell. You know that because it should be in group 6 of the periodic table. So what does sulfur need to do? It needs to gain 2. So nice and simply, all you have to do is add 2 on to your total number of electrons, which in this case is going to give you 18. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So this is a bit more tricky now compared to what you've had previously. Let's have a look and see how much you've picked up. So it says for each of the elements below, fill in the number of protons, neutrons and electrons of their ions for four marks. So that is these three columns here. And then add in the charge of the ion as well. That's the fourth column. So you get four marks for having all this correct and four marks for having all of this column correct. Pause the video, have a go. We'll see how you've done them in. Okay, so we'll start off with what should be revision of just the normal uh, periodic table calculations, and that is the number of protons. The proton number is the same as the atomic number, so we have 3, 9, 12, and 16. Neutrons, you should know, is atomic mass, take away atomic number, so 7 minus 3 is 4, 9 to take away 9 is 10, 24 minus 12 is 12, and 32 minus 16 is 16. Finally, it's the electrons in the iron. Now what you've got to do here is not the normal electrons. We know that we've got three protons, therefore we should have three electrons, but it's in group one, so it wants to lose one electron. So we take one away from three, and it gives me two overall. You get one mark for having these three correct. The second one, you've got fluorine, it has nine electrons, but it's in group seven, so it needs to gain one, so you should have 10. Magnesium is in group 2 and has 12 electrons, so it needs to lose 2, so it becomes 10. And sulfur is in group 6, has 16 electrons, it needs to gain 2 to get up to 8, so it should be 18. Okay. And then the charge of your iron, lithium, loses 1, becomes Li+. Plus. Fluorine gains 1, becomes F-. Minus. Magnesium loses 2, becomes Mg2+. Plus. And sulfur gains 2, becomes S2-. Minus. So, one mark for this row, 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 and then one mark for each of these, which will give you eight in total. See how you did? If you're not sure, go back and watch the video again. If not, move on to the review section. Which is a very, very similar question, except for this time I've asked to do three, four different elements. Okay, so you've got sodium, calcium, aluminium, oxygen. And this time you'll have to find out the atomic number, atomic mass, and the group yourself by looking at the periodic table. That ends this video.